Hi everyone, today we are going to explain the cases of a noun. Well, there are six cases of a noun and they are nominative, accusative, genitive, dative, a positive, and vocative. Well, we are going to learn it one by one, but what actually is case of a noun? Basically, case shows the grammatical function of a noun and its relation with the rest of words in a sentence. What does it mean? Simply, it means a noun can play many functions in a sentence because sometimes it functions like a subject or an object, etc. So its different functions are said to be the cases of a noun. Well, let's move on and explain it one by one. But you need to keep in mind that a noun can play different roles in a sentence. So its different functions or roles are considered to be its cases. Nominative case. Nominative case of a noun is also called subjective case of a noun. In simple words, when a noun takes the place of a subject, so it is called nominative case of a noun or a subjective case of a noun. For example, Smith can play cricket. Here in this example, the noun Smith has taken the place of a subject. So it is is nominative case or subjective case of a noun. There are so many examples of it like John goes to school, Alina reads a novel, here John and Alina are nominative cases of a noun. Why we call it nominative cases of a noun? Because they have taken the place of a subject. Accusative case. When a noun takes the place of an object is called accusative case. For example, they informed Smith. Here the noun Smith takes the place of an object. So it is said to be the accusative case of a noun. There are so many examples of it, like he kicked a ball, she bought a car. Here ball and car are nouns, but they have taken the place of an object. So that is why they are called accusative case of a noun. Genitive case. Genitive case of a noun is also called possessive case of a noun. When a noun is used in a such a way that shows possession or ownership, then it is said to be the genitive case of a noun or possessive case of a noun. For example, Smith's car is very beautiful. Here the noun Smith with apostrophe and S shows possession or ownership because the car belongs to him. So, this is genitive case of, uh, of a noun or possessive case of a noun. There are so many examples like it. Mother's love is matchless. Shakespeare's plays are very interesting. Here, mother's love and Shakespeare's plays, so you can see that they chose possession. So, it is said to be genitive case of a noun. Dative case. A dative case of a noun is that case which shows the indirect object of a verb. For example, he gave Smith a book. Here in this example, there are two objects and they are considered to be direct object and indirect object. And they are Smith and a book. Here Smith is indirect object. So it is a dative case of a noun. But the question is how to identify direct and indirect object in a sentence. If you want to find both of them in a sentence, ask yourself a question about a sentence and say, what? He gives Smith a book. So here the answer of what is a book. So the direct object is a book. When you get answer of what, so that will be a direct object. But if you want to find out indirect object and ask yourself a question, and that is, to whom? He gave Smith a book. Who was given a book? The answer we get it, that is, Smith. So it is indirect object of the sentence. So 
it is said to be the dative case of a noun. And the next example is, we give our dog a bone. What was given to our dog? And that is a bone. So it is direct object because we use a sentence or ask a question from what? So we get the answer a bone. So this one is direct object. And if I ask this question, who was given a boon? So the answer we get, our dog. So our dog is indirect object. So it is a dative case of a noun. A positive case. When a noun is used in a position to describe another noun, is said to be the a positive case of a noun. For example, John, the doctor, is my friend. In this sentence, there are two nouns. The first one is John and the second one is the doctor. But here, the noun the doctor describes the noun John. So, this is called a positive case of a noun. Because one noun describes another noun. He is Smith, the artist. Again, Smith and the artist are two nouns. But the noun artist describes the noun smith. So, the noun artist is a positive case of a noun. The vocative case. When a noun is used to address or call someone, is called vocative case of a noun. For example, John, get out. Here, the noun John is used in the sentence is in address. So, it is vocative case of a noun. Alina, are you crazy? Here again, Alina is addressed. So it is vocative case of a noun. In simple words, when you call someone or address someone in a sentence, so that is said to be the vocative case of a noun. Well guys, if you have enjoyed this lecture, please do not forget like and subscription to my channel. And see you next time. Bye bye.